Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Jet Force Gemini. Last time we had given Gimlet back his pants, and we found Floyd, who's been broken into a few pieces, and his scattered parts are all around. And that is what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to find them, so we can get Floyd as an ally. And uh, his first part's right here in plain sight, more or less. Um, they're all in this area. I mean, you have to go into a few places, but they're not, like, scattered halfway across the galaxy. Now, this door is a little difficult to blow up, because if you get too close, you can kill yourself, but, or, well, hurt yourself anyway. You could probably kill yourself if you were low on health. But, um, it's an awkward angle. And we got some flares. And I don't really know if there's a use for them. Land, maybe you know what they're good for. I haven't really ever used them. Unless they're just for lighting dark hallways. Uh, now these coffins can be destroyed. And, you know, we've already been desecrating the gravesite, so... I guess blowing up a couple of coffins isn't going to be much worse. Um, and there's some tribals down here. And that's all that's in there is that robot part and one tribal. There's nothing behind that coffin. Some of the coffins have uh, crawl spaces that you can go into, and they have nice things at the end of them. Let's see. Alright, now we want to go on top of uh, Gimlet's house. Oh, but first let's go in here. It's a really disturbing thing in here. There's a baby tribal on a table and a drone who had him at gunpoint and I really don't know what they were trying to suggest here. It's really, really disturbing. Um, but anyway, we get the sniper rifle now. And now we're gonna go up the side of the house here. And to get up to the top of it, you run over, uh oh, you run over here and there's a couple of steps and you can get on the top of the house and jump in the chimney. Although you don't come out of the fireplace, you actually go down into one of these underground passageways, which is cool. And uh, lots of goodies to be had here, as well as a robot part. First, you want to blow that up and go into this crawl space. And you can already tell there's some tribals over here. And, oh, an increase for my sniper rifle. And another increase, and I can't get it. I believe, oh, I believe it's for the homing rock missiles, and I don't have that right now. I'll probably go, you know, come back and get it when I've picked up the ho uh, homing missiles later on, but not at the Tribal, two tribals, and a uh, robot part. The robot part. I think that's all three. So we can actually leave, but there's a couple of other things down here, like this. Uh, I keep rolling by mistake. Here we go. And now we have some remote mines. I don't find them that useful. I mean, I'm sure they have their place in the game. And I thought I could use them to blow up the coffins, but they don't seem to work. I guess the coffins require heavy fire. This coffin over here is a fake coffin. Don't blow it up. Well, I mean, it's a real coffin, but there's nothing behind it. There's no hidden goodies. So I'm not going to waste my time with it. Um, grab this again. Oh, it's just for flares. More money. Money's always good. And I guess that's everything here. Let's go talk to Floyd again. We're missing a couple of tribals somewhere, and I don't know where they are. I'll probably pause and go find them on my own after I talk to Floyd. 
Now, Floyd adds a couple of neat gameplay elements, and um, when the time is right, I'll show you that. I can't just do it now because it requires being on a certain Floyd pad that we've come across a few times in a few places, but I haven't actually mentioned what they're for. Come on, Floyd. Talk to me. Yes, I have. Take your three pieces back. Uh, also, I believe if you have this with the second player, you can actually have the second player fly, uh, fire Floyd's guns, I think. Uh, I've never played this with two people before. It's one of those games that you really wouldn't want to play with two people. It's very much a solo campaign. Um, but if you have a friend over, or a brother, or sister, or whatever, and you get this game on the N64, try it out. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can't find those missing tribals, so just uh, hang tight for a second here. Never mind, I remember where the tribals are now. I can't get them right now. I have to use Lupus's ability, I think, to get to them. So that's fine. But speaking of tribals, remember those two... Um, oh, not two. The uh, trap door that we found at the beginning of this level that I couldn't open? Well, I can go open that now. So I'm going to go head back and we can collect the tribals in that area and then we won't have to worry about doing that again. So let's go take care of that right now. Okay, we're back here and we're going to go down in this trap door and get the rest of the missing tribals. I think there's about five of them left. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to find here. Ooh. And you think no. Now, you may have just noticed I picked up the homing missiles and oh boy oh boy that was kinda creepy um oh god and I'll explain where those came from and how I got them in due time for right now it's not a, important and it's more relevant to the game later on um, I should point out that uh, Floyd will indicate when there are enemies around. He'll make like a blipping sound, a bleeping, whirring. And that's a good indication there's an enemy nearby. It's more reliable than the arrows that point up on your screen and say like, look in this direction. Um, yep. Oh boy. Um, something else I was going to mention. Hmm. Oh yeah. You know... Even though I'm getting all the tribals here and I'm just showing you these ones that I missed, once you go through a tally door or leave a planet, all the tribals respawn. They don't, you know, they don't stay uh, collected, which is a real pain. Um, it means you have to do everything over again, and all the enemies come back. And I'll go over that again later. Man, these guys are just built tough. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I know what to use. Time I put these homing. Man, these things just don't want to die. It's a good thing I have plenty of time. This is all I really wanted to do in this video anyway. Ooh, lag. Okay, two. Three. See, I can count. I know how to count. I'm out of homing missiles already. Wow. I'm running out of everything. It's just about all of them. There's one left. I think. Must have missed one somewhere. Or not. Life force door. Yes, I know it's a life force door. Come on. Oh. This door never opened. I used to flash on the shotgun, but... This is, you know, there's a bunch of them here. I don't want to waste time with them. And that's all of them. And that's where we're going to leave off. I am going to head back to the Floyd area. 
when we first got him, and uh, that is the end of a tally door there. So I am going to just start from that area, and it's going to get a bit harder after that point on this planet. And we're getting close to the end of this one now, finally. There's a lot of backtracking and item collecting here, and like I said, it's one of the slowest planets. But once you get everything and you're all set to go, you can finally get off this horrible, horrible place. And luckily, you only have to come back and collect a couple of tribals. So, that is where I will leave off. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time for more Let's Play Jet Force Gemini.